Senator John McCain. Joining us now, former Reagan White House political director, Great America PAC strategist, Ed Rollins. Ed, great to have you Thank with you. us. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Last night, talking about the elections, uh, I mean Trump uh, taking Nebraska, taking West Virginia. He's moving, what, he needs uh, not many more uh, he, he, to get to the, uh, to the 1237. He's going to have way more than that. He's going to win big in California. There's nothing stopping him at this point in time. It's, it's his party. He gets to lead this party. Uh, he gets to basically go out and run on a campaign uh, theme that he wants to run on. Uh, and he's right. He has done it his way. And a lot of doubters, uh, including myself early on, uh, were there. And he basically uh, mm -hmm. took the best field I've seen since 1980 and, and crushed them. Uh, you know, crushed them. we all talked about the field at, at the beginning, but he uh, is one uh, person I respect mightily said he walked into a dark alley with 16 other people and he's the only guy who walked out. I mean, what is the secret of Donald Trump? Well, there's, there's an honesty about his campaign. I mean, he's out there telling you know, saying it like it is. And, and you know, th that's not one of the, the listings you see. That political scientists say the powers of a presence, he's not telling it like it is. But to this country right now, they want someone to tell it like it is. They don't want business as usual in Washington, D.C. They want someone who's going to go out there and basically try and get the economy moving again. And basically, they want someone who's going to listen to them. And I think that's his campaign. And he has listened to, the, he's listened to those voters. He's talked to those voters. And he's inspired those voters to turn on in record numbers. You know what's impressed me, too, is he has turned, he is using the plural uh, when, uh, it, it, when he starts talking uh, in, in personal reference. He's talking about we. He's talking about us now as he looks to the, to the voters. He talks about the people being the elites uh, uh, rather than the, uh, the whatever that you want to call that class, the Washington cartel. Right. Uh, that's uh, that's a big move. It's a it, it's a big move and, and, and it's very effective. And I think I, I, I think he's a tough guy. I think he's I think he's proven to a lot of people that he's just not a celebrity. He really is a guy that basically is Can a leader. Can you tell me how people ever decided he was just a celebrity? <laughs> the man is a multi-billionaire. He's been he's built businesses. He, no, he's, I, I mean, it just doesn't make any sense to and me. And he's been a dominant player on the on the on the scene for 30 years. So. To say that he can't go to Washington and do things that he needs to do is absurd. So I, yeah. I, I, I think we're going to watch a very interesting campaign this fall. And, and I think... Well, you know, the people are saying things like that. And, I, and here I'm talking about Mitt Romney, who keeps, you know, sort of chirping in the darkness. And, and uh, Paul Ryan, no one even knows... I'm serious. The journalists uh, who cover him don't even know what the Dickens he's talking about. They, they become Lilliputian-like. Uh, the more they do this, the smaller they get in contrast to well, uh, we, the presumptive nominee. We don't elect the prime minister in this country. We elect the president, uh, and we elect different Congress members. Uh, and, and, and Paul Ryan is, is a guy who's new in the job. Uh, he basically is, is respected by some of his colleagues on budgets and other things. But yet he can't get his budget bill through the Congress. He can't, he can't get the votes there. So my they sense, may respect him, but he's never done a doggone thing. Well, I think, I think that's true. And I think the way, only way he's going to get have any success is for him to become part of the Trump organization in the sense of, of these are the things we want to run on together. He can talk about those in, in their meetings tomorrow and over the next few weeks and see where they can find some common ground and go out and basically make it happen. Yeah. Otherwise, I mean, if he's going to fight Trump, he's going to get rolled over and bowled over and he's going to lose some of his members, uh, both internally and externally. And I think to a certain extent, it'd be a very foolish mistake. Yeah. And we're seeing uh, some of that begin already. Absolutely.